Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today's new video for you guys. So today I'm going to be talking about how to become a young successful entrepreneur. So before I get into the video, I want to show you guys my shirt that I purchased. It says God is dope and I just wanted to show you guys. I thought I think it's so 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 cute. And um they have like really great t-shirts and stuff. So um I'm going to put the link to their um their website down below so you guys can go purchase some t-shirts from them i think it's pretty amazing okay so if you guys didn't know i have my own nail business i'm 17 years old i've been doing nails for about seven months now and i've had over 300 clients um i come from a really small town where it's really kind of hard to like start your own business especially at 17 i'm a senior in high school and i actually started last year when i was a junior so it's basically, I mean, it's pretty hard to try to, like, start a successful business. So, I want to give everybody tips on how you can do that. Um, not just, like, for nails or anything, but for any type of business that you want to start. Um, so, I have about about eight tips that I can give you guys that I basically use to grow my business. Um, it's not really where I want to be at. Like, I want to be greater than what I am, but I am really blessed to, you know, have what I do have and to make it this far because I definitely didn't think I was going to be that successful in doing nails. Um, but yes, yeah, so I'm going to start off with the first tip. So the first tip that I recommend is being passionate. You definitely need to be passionate about what you know, you're about to start a business with, whether it's cooking, like funnel cakes and stuff, or it's nails, or it's lashes, t-shirts, anything. Just make sure that you're definitely passionate about it and it's not something you're going to get bored with in a few months and you're just going to stop doing it. Like, make sure you're going to invest your time and your money into this. Make sure that you're definitely passionate and you're sure about it. Okay, the next thing I would definitely recommend is taking quality photos. Now, I'm not saying like they have to be professionally taken like by a photographer or anything like that, but just make sure that they're quality pictures. So basically like use your iPhone or something like that and make sure that they look really nice because I feel like on Instagram, that's what really attracts everybody is like the really nice pictures. So just make sure that you're posting in quality photos and make sure that you're consistent with your posting. You know, um, when I started doing nails, I didn't really have that many clients. So I was like basically posting um, maybe like every once a week or whatever. But make sure you're definitely consistent, like especially if you're saying lashes or clothing. I'm not saying every day, but make sure like every other day, make sure you're posting majority of the week. The next tip that I have for you guys is to have multiple social media pages. And okay, so <laughs> Facebook used to be popping back in the day, like when I was in elementary school. And my mom, she's a Facebook person, so she's just like, oh my god, like, Talia, you need to keep posting your nails on Facebook. That way other people can see it. Just like, you know, the people that don't have Instagram and stuff like that. So I definitely feel like it's important to have multiple social media. So multiple accounts, like on Instagram. I know I have my main page, and then I have my nail page. So I like to keep it separate, you know what I'm saying? Because um, it builds followers, honestly. Because a lot of followers from my main page... They'll go to my nail page and they'll see my work and stuff like that. So make sure you have multiple accounts as well as a Facebook. And Facebook as well, they have sell it pages. So basically like you can post cars, clothes, anything that you're selling. And that's also a good way to post like your business and your brand and stuff like that. So I make sure that I post like if I'm doing... um. If I need more clients for the week, I'll post up there um, $20 full sets and all that stuff. And it'll basically just... Bring in newer, new people. Like, you get people from out of town. I know the farthest um, I had a client was from North Carolina. And it just really amazes me because I never really thought, like, I would have clients from, you know, that far. So, 
make sure that you're definitely posting on you know multiple social medias that way different people can see it especially facebook because i know a lot of older people don't use facebook and stuff so make sure that you do that the next thing i would say is use if you're a high schooler you're in high school use your friends and your classmates to your advantages i'm telling you guys this is what's really going to spread the word about your business um basically like when i first started doing nails it was actually on one of my friends and um her name is Jamantha. and word just got around from there like i just did one person and it just spread like wildfire like when somebody's starting a business and somebody's doing something word spreads fast especially when you live in a small town so i say definitely use your classmates and your friends to your advantages because people talk you know, word is going to get around that, oh, did you hear so-and-so, she's selling cookies, blah, blah, blah. girl, they are bomb, like, I'm telling you guys, make sure that you use your friends and your classmates to your advantages. Also, like, schools, say if you're selling lashes, or you're doing makeup, or whatever the case is, or you're selling food, you can put up flyers around your school, like, I know around homecoming time last year was, no, I lied, <laughs> prom prom time last year i put up flyers around the school like of my nails and stuff like make sure you do that like that's what's really going to get people to see your work okay so the next tip that i have for you guys is offer specials and deals deals is what really draws people in like girl like everybody wants to save a few coins okay so make sure that you're offering deals and specials say if you're selling food be like hey um what is it funnel cakes are two for five or something like that something that's going to draw people in as well as refer a friend um so when i first started doing nails it was like um refer a friend and you get five dollars off your next full set so do different things like that offer different specials and things that's really going to draw people in like oh that's a good deal like you know what i'm saying and um especially if you're first starting out like if you're doing like hair or doing makeup or if you're doing um nails i i my best advice is to like offer a decent price like in the beginning like just starting out you know and then progressively as you get better like increase your price i'm not saying like when you first start out baby charge 80 dollars. like no you know you want to draw people in like you know what i'm saying so i definitely recommend refer a friend that's to me that's a really good deal Okay, the next tip that I have for you guys is to manage your money. Make sure that you're taking out money that you make to reinvest into your products, okay? I think a lot of people forget about that. Like, when they have a business, like, oh, I just made $20, and they go spend the whole $20. No, you need to put a majority of that money away. Um, I'm going to say maybe half or maybe a little less than half away to re-up in product and different things like that um that's really important because if you run out of product ain't no more business baby <laughs> so no, but, um and another thing that i did um i had another job so while i was building my business i still had another job to bring in extra income so say if my business wasn't doing good one week i still had extra money coming in you know um or say if i ran out of something i have money to repurchase it or purchase more you know what i'm saying um so i feel like that's the best way to go but i recently just quit my job at bojangles <laughs> but that's because i was really missing out on a lot of business because i was working a lot of hours and people would message me about nails and i was just like no i can't do it i have to work today and i was just really missing out on a lot of business so now that my business has taken off i don't have to worry about a second job I do about three people every day, Monday through Friday, uh, maybe one person on Saturday. But, yeah, so, like, I'm making the money back. Like, so I feel like having a second job is the best option when you're first building your, your business. Okay, the next thing that I really recommend is to do giveaways. If you're personally starting a new business and you don't have, like, a lot of followers on your business page, make sure that you do giveaways. Giveaways are really, really good for, like, building new followers and, like, building up your page and stuff. Especially if you, like, set rules for the giveaway. Say you have to follow this account you know, repost the flyer that you made on their page. It makes people, you know, want to 
everybody wants some for free like why not so i did a giveaway for the first time last month and i only did it for a week i let the giveaway run for a week and i gained about over 70 followers just from the giveaway so i feel like giveaways are a plus a big plus for a small town person trying to build their business page so i feel like definitely do that as well as stay high on trends um trends that be on instagram like new stuff that y'all see is popping that people want make sure you stay high on that because that's also going to get you new customers it's going to make people want to come back and try new things um as for me i do nails shops around here they don't do anything trendy um if they do it's very high i think the only thing trendy that they do is ombre and ombre is about 70 dollars and <laughs> You know, like, that's the only thing they do. They don't do foil nails. They don't do fruit nails. They don't do anything that you see on, on Instagram. Nothing. So, I feel like me being trendy and um, staying high on different trends and stuff is what makes people want to come to me as well. Because I do think that other people can't. Um, as well as, like, if you're doing lashes. Everybody sells lashes. Spice it up. You know, create a different package or offer something that comes with the lashes like that's something a lot of people don't do they just sell lashes like it doesn't come with anything maybe like a free goodie bag or maybe a free lip gloss with the purchase of a, um some lashes or just stay high on the trends offer necklaces like different things that you see is popping on instagram i feel like it's very important Okay, guys, so this is all for the video today, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, let me know down below some other tips that you can give other people for creating a business. Um, I hope this, guys, this really helped because, honestly, starting my business, I was just winging it. So, this is, like, some tips to starting a business. I hope to see a lot of new businesses created, especially in my hometown. I mean, I thought it was really cool because when I first started doing nails, like, it was a lot of people popping up with businesses. I was like, man, this is, like, really cool, like, to inspire, you know, people, high schoolers to start their own business. Like, I feel like a lot of adults feel like it's not possible for young teenagers to start a successful business. But um, trust me, if you do it right and you you take advice from older people my parents really guided me on how to start my business so i feel like taking advice from other people and you know really planning it out is what makes you successful so make sure if you guys want to see any other videos on like businesses and different things like that make sure you comment it commented comment down below <laughs> make sure you comment down below and yeah